Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the Vaughn VE8 uh, set kind of snapshot review. There will be different videos for the blocker and the catcher. After this one, this one will just be for the pads. So I got an opportunity to use these um, and check them out. These are pro returns from Martin Jones uh, back when he was in Vaughn's. So, yeah, I'll just kind of talk about these. And then, again, check out those other videos for the gloves and the blocker. Um, so these... I'm not sure how much is actually different on these compared to a stock VE8. So it's kind of a weird review because it's a VE8, but this is a loaner set that Vaughn is lending out for VE8s. Um, so if you want to demo them and you ask, and this is your size, this is the set that they, they demo. So I'm going to put that as something close enough. And I also understand that VE8 life cycle is basically done. Uh, VE9s are coming out probably in a few months, like probably four months or so, which is kind of the end, but this is, I had the opportunity to do these. I'm on to try them, see how they are. Um, so this pad, you can kind of see the thigh rise is decent, is like decently soft below the knees, decently soft, but the boot is the heart, like probably the hardest boot I've ever seen. Um, it doesn't move at all. It's very, it's like fairly angled, very angled. I had issues with this boot, um, when using it yesterday. Uh, it is just, it's not like great for me. Just totally personally, it kind of gets in the way a bit. So I would like a softer boot there, but I understand why NHL goalies would especially want a taller, a harder boot. Um, it definitely makes the, the pads sit a little higher up than it normally would because it doesn't move at all. Basically, and it just sits on top of your skate. Um, I think that's about it for this angle. I'm kind of moved to the other one now, but this is kind of again how it is a bit pretty flexible, which is kind of the point of these pads. But that boot is very, very hard. So here, looking at the side, um, it gives you a decent idea of the profile of these pads. These are still a thicker pad compared to a lot of, of the pads on the market now. Um, I think CCM is now thinner than this. Weight-wise, they're they're definitely heavier than the new Eflex Force, um, but they're not. They don't feel heavy on your leg or anything like that. Uh, looking at the toes. Just a standard kind of binding all the way through. These obviously have weave on sliding surface. The new ones I think will have that their quick slide material. No special toe strap on this one. Um, I can't remember if VE8s have special toe straps. I think it's just like the skate lace. But anyways, boot strap that doesn't have like the little flexible bit, which I think the other, uh, most of the stock ones have. Um, this I going back to this one. I just this one this pad never rotated right back to my leg. And I'm pretty sure it's because of this toe tie. I really wish it had elastic on it. I think elastic is such a better idea than the uh, skate lace. But anyways, um, so looking at this part, um, Vaughn did a really good job of hiding all the binding on the sliding surface. Even the stuff right here, these pads are very used and not just by me. Um, so, and this doesn't really have any wear, so that's really good. You could definitely um, slide on this specific part it gives. So, and there's no more binding wear on the knee either. Um, and you can see how this knee stack is built where it has like the pro bump right there. Um, I'll get to more of the knee stack later. All this is pretty hard foams. Um, and I think that does a really good job of like stability and stuff with this pad was pretty solid and sliding was like really good. Again, not Brian, this, these pads weren't Brian's or Bauer level good, but it was like JRZ level good, kind of one step below, which is still really good, but just not on that next tier. Um, way better than the CCM E flexes I wore. I wanted to try these because they're a softer face pad with like a softer core. Um, but really, I wanted to try a soft face pad and see if I actually would like it. And I did kind of like these, but um, I'll kind of get to some other parts of why they aren't really for me. But this, I would still say, uh, like the E flex just slid so poorly compared to these that I have a hard time telling people to buy E flex when this pad actually slides pretty good um so look at the strapping this is by far the worst strapping i've seen on a pad in a while um, maybe the jrz or jrz um prime because they're a very similar design for the e straps these are awful i don't know why Vaughn did them um they're just i don't get it they're magnetic and they're these little things i think the idea is they're if people wanted like traditional straps, they still have these options. 
and they're adjustable like elastic right but these come undone all the time and they basically don't do anything and i say they come undone all the time because i've seen them flopping around um they also i've seen them fall out of this little contraption it's like a plastic piece on both sides i've seen a bunch of retail ones where this part just fell out so it was just dangling i would just take this out they don't do anything you have this strap that does enough for like your calf and then your knee and then they have this extra this one isn't stock on the ve8 so this one was added for these pads specifically but um the knee strap and this one work good enough that you don't need these anymore so i think it's a total waste and just gets in the way and is annoying um, opening up the strapping you, you can kind of just see the leg channel it plays fairly tight um it's so soft in here though that it's, it's kind of crazy how soft this pad really is and again they have this their professor strap that they put in Vaughn kind of started this this one isn't as good as the slr one but it's still pretty good um again you have elastic kind of through it so it does stretch a little bit but it does have a lot of thick padding here so it doesn't really cut off circulation and feels pretty nice and you have your knee strap right here with their 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 nash is interesting because i find it it seems to wear more than other companies but i'm not sure if that's just because these are really used pads that they send out or what it is um so next the knee block itself is super hard i think this is because it's a pro return pad like this is super super hard um and that honestly my knees were hurting after using these with my 1x uh 1x knee guard so my knees were really hurting after this this foam super hard i don't think the retail one is that stiff um but yeah just that's about it for that these pads are pretty soft let me try to get this on camera better so the core definitely flexes pretty easy there um and you can kind of notice that they're like they don't totally look at bad like really bad here but the thighs are definitely kind of bending inwards a bit now um, i have a picture that i'll probably overlay over this that like one of the things I like about Vaughn pads, especially in, here, let me get this on camera first. Uh, especially in like the retail setting is that they do seal the ice like very well out of the box. Um, everything looks to seal pretty good, but once you actually get, like you can see my hand goes under there really easy, even when you put force on the knee. Um, they look great here and then they're used and they kind of lose that. Same with the SLRs. At least the ones I wore were worn in enough so that comes off because the cores aren't stiff enough. But um, it's weird because like they look great, but then you actually wear them. And I have photos and you could see that gap. And I definitely felt like the thighs. One time I was actually in the butterfly and I had a puck bounce in here and then the puck rolled underneath and out of the bottom. And that was really odd. I never had that happen before. Um, but it did in these pads and I only wore them once. So it's kind of interesting. These are a really like, these are a very difficult pad for me to review in the sense that like they do so many things really awesome and they're really unique, but at the same time, like there's some pretty big flaws in them that I think they have to change, uh, to get better. But I don't know if that's their core audience and it's kind of like the CCM debacle where don't change it because it's not broken, but really it kind of leaves you behind. Um, so these have like the, the carbon stiffness in the supposedly in them and they're not stiff at all. And you, like you can see, I can bend the core. And the problem with that is you can get under the thigh rise easy. Like I, uh, who took a rask had a goal to go in on him last year, puck hit here. You could see the thigh rise bend in and the puck went through his legs and he kind of looked at his pad like what happened. That's, kind of the Vaughn, like when you go with a super soft pad like this, that's kind of what happens. But at the same time, um, like mobility in these are so good because they're so soft and you just move with your legs and everything that like it, it's almost, you have to kind of figure out that like where you want, or sorry, how uh, you have to figure out like how, how mobile you want it for how stable of a pad. So it's a, it's an interesting kind of thought process and what you really have to find out what you really like. I want to try, I'm, I want to see the VE9 to see what they do with those. Um, I think like Vaughn, this is a super soft pad. The rebounds are absolutely nothing on these, just like E-Flex. So that's pretty, fairly unique that they have in there because not many other companies on the market right now do that at all. Brian's still does, I guess. So I'm 
wrong there. Um, so I'm rambling a bit. I like them. They slide great, but I wouldn't buy them because I can't get that seal I want. And I don't think there's a way Vaughn could do that because all the, uh, like, this is a pro pad. And Jones went from these to Premier 2s. So it's a pretty big difference in how the pad's constructed. Um, so yeah, that, that's about it for this quick kind of review usage thing of them. Uh, they're like, they slide great. They'll work for you, but there are some pretty big changes. The strapping's just terrible and just delete all strapping and just use the smart strap or use the calf and the, use this one and the knee and then you're set. But yeah, that, that coverage right here is just not, uh, not good enough for me. So it's not something I would end up buying because of that. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Sorry it was a bit rambly. I uh, had a really tight deadline to do this, so I couldn't really thought process this all the way through. Um, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I make new videos. Just follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have kind of small snippets of content that's not big enough for YouTube. So I think it's pretty useful. And if you ever do buy a piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please check or reach out to the manufacturer on social media to let them know. It helps me get on their radar so I can do more reviews like this and test out more gear. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.